Queen Ness. Welcome to my channel. Today we are working on a door mirror. I've had this mirror for over a year and a half. I have bought it to make a Valentine's gift at the early part of last year and I never did get to it. I even bought some heart-shaped lights that I have somewhere. It's about 13 and a third inches by 49 and a third inches. And the first thing I'm going to do is get some foam board, two pieces of this tack I have here, and um, put them together. Cut a piece from each part to cover the length of the mirror, plus a little overhang on which I'm going to put the decor. I'm going to add an additional five inches, which is going to give me two and a half all around. I've covered the front of the mirror the entire front of it um, with paper because I'm going to paint the frame. I'm going to use a uh, silver paint. I don't even know when I bought this paint. It's been a while and it says outdoor on the front but on the back of it it says indoor on outdoor. It's a silver paint and I'm going to cover the entire frame of the mirror so whatever I put on the frame it will not show a white background, but a silver. We'll use this strong adhesive Gorilla Glue to put the mirror onto the pieces of foam board. As you can see, I've taped the foam board pieces together. That'll cover the entire length of the mirror. And I'm going to put the glue all over the foam board and also on the back of the mirror. This um, Gorilla Glue is very strong. The instructions are that you put the glue on both surfaces that are going to be glued together and you wait a couple of minutes and then you put the surfaces together. I have other glue that you have to wait like 10 minutes. Uh, no, no. This Gorilla Glue, in two minutes, you'll be ready to put your surfaces together. and. Once the time has passed, it is going to be a very strong bond once the 24 hours cure time has passed. While I'm getting the mirror into place, let me explain what I have been missing for a year and a half. I don't think I ever told you guys that I'm a nurse. And so during that time, my schedule was very hectic. I have to leave my house before five in the morning to get to work by seven o'clock and then I get home late at night to do the same thing again the next day and so really and truly there wasn't any time to spend to make videos my schedule is still busy but it's not as bad because I don't have to travel as far nor do I work as many hours or as many days per week I'm trying to make sure that the mirror is straight so that when I put the decor on it, it doesn't look um, lean in any way. I got these silver trays from the Dollar Tree and they're what I'm going to put around the sides of the mirror. I'm doing this on the floor of my dining area because my work table is long enough but not wide enough and since I need to have room to go all the way around I figure here is the best spot. So I'm laying down the silver trays all around the mirror. I'm going to put them down one by one. So that's a general idea of where each one is going to be. I've taken all the labels off and now I have to make sure that they are proper, properly aligned before I start gluing them into place.
I'm using the same Gorilla Glue and I'm making a mark of the glue in each spot that the bottom of the tray is going to go. I'm going to put it on the foam board and I'm putting the glue also on the bottom of the tray. I'm going to set the tray aside for two minutes and then put it on. I won't bore you by showing you how I'm going to glue each tray. I just keep going around and then I will come back with the rest of the video. When some crafters do these mirrors, they actually, or some use the bowls, they actually glue them onto the frame. But in order not to take up any of the mirror space, I put them around the mirror so now I'm going to put something on the um, on the frame itself so you know just to jazz it up a little bit I thought of using two inch round mirrors but those were too big then I thought of one inch mirrors but I didn't have enough I also thought of using uh, mirror tiles but um, by the time I got to got the entire length of one side of the mirror all of the tiles I had would have been used up and I have no intentions of going out to buy any right now so when you can't do things the way you want you do it how you can so here comes the trusty old bling wrap of course it always comes in in a pinch Look how beautiful it looks with the bling wrap. That is perfect. There's a gap between the trays at each corner and I had cut a piece of paper with the shape because I was going to use a piece of acrylic mirror sheet at each corner but I've decided against that. What I'm going to use instead are some acrylic rocks. And right now I'm going to glue those into place at each corner and then you will see what it looks like when I'm finished. Remember to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I put up new videos. All the rocks are in place and this is how it looks beautiful I got these lights from Amazon there are two packs and I'm going to put one in every other cup of each tray I've put the lights where I need them now I'm going to use the same glue, I'm going to put some on the back of each light and put some in the cup of the tray where it's going to go and again it's the same glue, Gorilla glue, it's going to be a strong bond and I'm going to wait 2 minutes before putting each light in. Now it's all finished, you can see it lit up, I put it in the dark. So you guys can see the effects of the different lights, multiple colors, red and green and different shades of blue. And it even has effects of fading and flashing and random lights. It's a beautiful light set and it looks really nice on the mirror. And the best part of it, it is remote controlled. So you use the remote to get whatever color you like that matches your mood. Now 
my favorite is always going to be the white light. I just love the effect of the clear, bright white light. I love the way it turned out. Like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Take care. Bye.